Hi everyone, it's Ryan. I'm back in my garage. Um, I've got some time today. Uh, I'm going to be playing with this and the Super Dream. Uh, let me explain. So, during the week, I've been shopping and I went and bought myself a genuine set of tank rubbers um, which will help me do a test mounting of this tank and determine if it can remain in its current location or if it needs any repositioning. So that's uh, a step forward, pleased about that. They arrived quickly. Um, I think that was um, eBay living the dream. So nice quick service from there. And in fact, more importantly, I put out an appeal last week for uh, CDI and coil because um, I needed that to make this engine uh, runnable. And um, fantastic, fantastic response I received. Um, Theron, not for the first time, you came to my aid and I have received in the post coil, CDI, um, <laughs> and also I said, what else do you need? Um, I said, Carbretta inlet rubbers. Um, they sent me a pair of those as well. Look, this generosity, this attitude um, makes all the effort so worthwhile. Uh, so I thank him and all of you for your support. So, today I'm going to give these a good clean up, um, give them a test, see, see if they're all working. Um, I've no reason to doubt they are working, um, but they're clearly well used. So yeah, give them a good clean up, get the grease and muck off of them. And my thought process is before I put them on this bike, there's my phone, um, I'm going to test them on that bike. Okay, let's take a look what we got. A uh, couple of carburetor rubbers, uh, need new gaskets, but otherwise complete and look in excellent condition. That will be really helpful. Um, and, okay, so a CDI, um, very dirty, but again, looks complete, looks undamaged. Wires, okay, so it's got masking tape and stuff I'll sort that out I can clean all this up I can clean up the connections but it looks good um, it's got 250 written on it at some point in its life so that's a, a good indication it's the right one so yeah I think to begin with it's just a clean a degrease get this old masking tape off I've got some proper um, fabric like loom tape so I can replace all that and uh, yeah, we will get that. Actually, look, that, all that was doing was holding this, which I think is the kill switch. Excellent. Right, give her a clean. A bit of carb cleaner. I think that will break through the grease. Ah, I'll toothbrush. I think, I think these are going to come up lovely. Yeah. Cool. There yeah, that's the coil giving a quick clean up. I think that's come up quite nicely. So uh, I've made an effort just to use a bit of... Um, uh, sort of some um, wet and dry just on these ends of these metallic fixings because I think they're like earthing straps or earthing points so I've just made sure they're nice and clean so they get a good contact right let's move to the CDI now so let's begin with the CDI it's got more of this insulating tape which comes off and just leaves a big sticky mess Uh, it seems a good idea when you put insulating tape on, but long term, it is not the right stuff for wrapping these wires with. Now, so far, I can't see it's hiding much. I'm not really sure why it's even on there. Because actually, the plastic original underneath looks like looks like it's been in good condition. I don't know. Someone must have thought it was necessary at one point, maybe just for these two wires. Anyway, let's get rid of this, get rid of the stickiness, and give it a good clean. 
Right, well there's the CDI degreased and cleaned up. I'm just beginning to use a, a wire brush on it because it's quite, I mean it's got surface corrosion, it is only surface. I'm going to try and clean as much of that off as possible and uh, yeah just cosmetically clean it and, uh, and then we'll give it a test because all the connections look good, all the wires look good and there seems to be no damage on it anywhere. Um, so yeah looking confident so far, a little bit more clean than there required. Um, so I'm going to just try, yeah, clean that up, make it look like it's cared for. Right, that's most of the rust and removed. Still quite pitted, I mean it's never going to look like brand new. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a quick rust treatment um, and then, a, then an undercoat and a bit of black paint. And uh, I think she'll look all right. Whilst I move on, let's go and uh, the test fitting of the fuel tank using those new rubbers whilst that dries off. We'll come back to this in a minute. Okay, so that's the tank mounted on the proper rubbers. And that's the position it wants to sit in which does look remarkably far forward. Now I think that came off this same frame, but look, if I turn the wheels, that is going to hit the tank. And it's going to hit the tank before it's got to the steering stop. So my choices are... What? If I leave the tank in its current position, then I need to either reduce the steering angle or modify the front of the tank in some way, change its shape or knock the edges in, which I don't think that's my preferred option. Alternatively, I reposition the tank back slightly, moving the lugs that hold the rubbers, and extend the fixing here so that the tank itself sits slightly further towards the back of the bike. And that would clear the front, and I think that would look good at the front. I've got no problem with the tank coming further back in the frame. I'm not worried about that at all. The only thing is this image here is going to be further back, which might look a bit strange. But then maybe it gives me an opportunity to do something up here. There's nothing stopping me if I create a bigger space there, utilising that space. Possibly even get a little rev counter putting down here or something. That would be different. I don't know. Don't know. All right. Um, right. Food for thought. Not sure how to progress with this at the moment. So uh, for the time being, that can stay as it is. And then I'm going to move back over here. So whilst the CDI is drying, so it's just had that rust coat and it's just hanging around and drying off at the moment. I've got the coil is cleaned up and ready. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fire up old Flint Super Dream, not ran in quite a while, uh, probably probably a couple of months, doesn't get used a lot. And I'm gonna fire this up, make sure she's running all right, or he's running all right, meant to be a boy, um, and then try fitting that coil and making sure that it continues to run, thus proving the coil's good. And then, when I'm ready, I'm going to do the same thing with the CDI, just to make sure I've got known working components. Right, let's um, let's get this bike started, and let's get that coil fitted afterwards. Right, I've just given the battery a little bit of a short charge. Let's see if she's going to awaken. Cold. 
So it started and it ran not well, and it's only running on the left cylinder, not the right cylinder. I've just double checked that the fuel is getting to the right hand carb, um, and it is. So, um, interesting, not sure. I haven't changed anything yet. So this was running all right last time I used it. So I'm gonna check, uh, yeah, let's check the spark plug. Check for spark, maybe it's a problem with the wiring. Don't know, it shouldn't be. Anyway, let me see if I can get it, get it running properly first before I change anything. Well, no real idea what the problem was there. So um, having checked the electrics, checked the fuel, checked the compression, I started it up off camera typically um, and it was ticking over badly and I just held the throttle wide open and it cleared and um, the exhaust is now getting hot and it is now running off by cylinders. Okay, so old coil off, new coil on. The carbs should have plenty of fuel still in them because I've just taken the tank off. In theory, it should just start up exactly the same. Excellent. Well, without a road test, I think I can safely say that those coil, that coil, is working. Fantastic. Stage one done. Um, well, whilst I'm doing that, over here, the CDI has just had a little bit of primer on it, and it's just drying in the sun. So uh, we'll let that harden off, give it a rub down, and then we'll go for a little bit of satin black. I've just noticed something, that the Super Dream's got this bracket on it, which is for the... Um, the extension for the seat that's where the tank bolts in not up there so if i was to take that bracket and put that on this which is currently holding the flint's fuel tank that would extend this right back look to approximately where i'm thinking it needs to be which would give me something much closer to the clearance i need at the front so i think that's my starting point i think i actually need to source one of these brackets or make my own equivalent thereof. That's what I'm missing. That's why the tank's in the wrong place. Okay, but you see, it begins to make sense when you get into the detail. Uh, that's the cleaned up CDI unit. And uh, I'll now fit that and give it a test. All right. Give this a quick go. Choke. Runner. So, successful test of the electrics. So the CDI and the coil that I've been donated is working, perfect, thank you very much. What I have definitely identified is that my right hand carburetor is blocked on the idle circuit. So it is definitely only firing on the left hand carb on uh, left hand cylinder until you open the revs up and as you open the revs up it comes to life it, it, it pulls hard and it revs all the way to the red line so um yeah carburetor work needed i probably won't bore you with that but that's just i've identified that needs doing but from a purpose of testing the electrics perfectly successful excellent i'm going to get those now fitted to the scrambler. I can't fire it up today, but it will be in place and that's one step closer. Okay, so bolted the coil on, put it in place around this side. Uh, bolted CDI on in place. So that's there. Um, the wires from the CDI, I've just connected into the wires from the engine. So literally just 
plug those straight in. Nothing else, no, nothing else on the bike at all. No other electrics. Keep it as simple as simple as simple. Now, what happens if, can I, can I, can I put you in a position that might see if there's a spark? Okay, let's see if we get any life. Yep, seeing sparks. Yay! We have working electrics. We have working electrics. Ah, oh, my God, that worked. So, CDI, coil, directly into the engine. No other electrics, no other wiring loom whatsoever. Add a kill switch, and that's a running bike. Ho, 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 beauty. Okay. Let's get these carbs sorted, get a kill switch, maybe some exhausts, I need some downpipes. If I can get myself some downpipes, that could be the start of my exhaust that I want to build. Oh, that's a major step forward. Massive thank you, everyone. That's me wrapping up for another day. Um, yeah, really, really happy with today. Got working electrics on Sid the Scrambler. Also still got working electrics on Flint the Super Dream. And I've identified that I need to sort out the um, carburation on the right hand side carb on the Super Dream, which is fine, I don't mind that. So I will get on with that and I will do that at my own leisure, probably sometime in evenings during the week. But that was a huge step forward. Um, and I really need to say a massive thank you to Theron one last time. Um, so grateful for the help that I've received. So for now, I'm going to say goodbye. That's all I've got time for this week. Please don't forget, like and subscribe if you possibly can. Um, I really do appreciate everything. Thank you. Bye for now.